Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. So today's video is kind of a mermaid inspired Halloween tutorial. Um, to be honest, I did not have the best time doing this. I had a little bit of hiccups. So I will give you tips throughout how to make it easier for yourself so you don't have to do it the way I did. And yeah, so if you were interested on how to get this look and maybe get it easier, then please keep watching if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share down at the bottom. And let's get into the tutorial. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake. Cause I don't fucking care. Alright, so we're starting off with the 35U palette. This is by Morphe. I'm just going to start with this coral color right here. And that's just going to be my transition color. So more or less... Um, for the palette this was not the most pigmented shade so it did take me a while to kind of build this up a little bit and you're just going to take that and you're going to do windshield wiper motions back and forth above your eyelid all right next i'm going in with this kind of reddish color it actually comes off pink on the eyes and that's just going to go into my crease and i do tend to bring that up a little bit to kind of mix it more with the coral color now i'm just taking a big fluffy brush and just blending that I'm just taking the ColourPop No Filter Concealer and I'm just going to kind of cut crease my eyes. I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and blend that out into the shape I want. Then I'm taking a concealer brush and I'm using these three blue shades right here. I'm going to start from the left to right and I'm just going to ombre my eyes. So using that very, very left color for the inner corners, the middle for the middle part of the eye. And these didn't come off as pigmented as they could, so I ended up starting to spray them. And you didn't see me, but I went ahead and picked up that dark blue color, um, and I went ahead and started to more or less draw a wing on my eye, as I would eyeliner except I'm just using eyeshadow instead you can use tape for that as you can see I messed up my eye right here so if it's easier for you to use tape to make them even then I would suggest doing that and this is the finished look for the eyes so we're gonna move on to the face oh no actually we're gonna put mascara on I'm just going to use my real techniques to declump it And then I'm just going to put some face moisturizer on. I'm using oil. You can use whatever face moisturizer and primer you have. I just decided to use the oil. I do put on a um, primer, but I didn't show you in the video. I'm using the BH Cosmetics Liquid Foundation and the LA Girl White Foundation Mixer. I'm using one pump of the BH and two pumps of the LA Girl because it is way too dark for me. So after I've blended it, I'm just taking a sponge and I'm just putting it on my face. It's got pretty decent coverage. I don't know if that was the mixer or if that was the foundation, but I actually like how it turned out. Oh, and don't forget to set your foundation. I didn't. I'm just going to take this purple color right here and I'm more or less contouring at this point with this. Be honest, um, you can kind of skip this step because as you'll see later on I take this blue right here and you'll see me kind of contouring with it but I end up taking a fluffy brush later on in the video and just kind of applying it that way it was so much easier to do it that way and then I took a smaller brush and I added the purple back in so I would suggest just doing how I did it after instead of doing it this way because it's just made it way harder so as you can see, I'm taking that fluffy brush and adding the blue. As you can see, it's coming off way more pigmented and way more blended. It doesn't look as crazy. And this is going to require a lot of blending. As you can see, I'm adding it on my chin now, adding it to be more opaque on my forehead and my cheeks. And just keep blending. And then, as you can see, I'm adding some on my nose now. So now I'm taking that smaller brush and going back in with the purple, kind of what I mentioned earlier, and I'm just kind of contouring at that point with it. 
and blending it out so it kind of mixes together versus just being a purple streak across my forehead and cheeks. As you can see I'm also contouring ish my chin and my nose to just kind of add a little bit of depth and then I color switch and I just start blending so I don't add extra product and I can just blend what I already have on my cheeks. So now I'm going back in with that very light pool party blue and I'm just going to more or less highlight my cheeks and then kind of mix it down a little bit. So more or less this is just going to cover all the blue. And I'm just taking a kind of lip type brush and I'm taking concealer and I am more or less drawing like diagonal lines going one way and then I'm going to draw another going the opposite way to kind of make square. I did see on Pinterest that you can take a fishnet to achieve this look before you do the eyeshadow and stuff and it would be way way easier however I looked everywhere and could not find any so I don't like how much my forehead had on it so um, my cheeks came out okay but my forehead just the lines were too big and it didn't look as detailed as I had wanted it to so I do end up later on going in and trying to grab some more blue and trying to cover some of that up but it still would have been way easier to either use a smaller detailed brush to do this or to just use the fishnet um, in the first place to get those perfect lines. And as you can see I'm just taking a fluffy brush and I'm just blending out the concealer. I went a lot smaller on my cheeks and it does end up looking a lot better however I do think that if you can somehow find fishnet leggings or something like that or just fishnet in general this look would be way easier if you just did that. And I'm just going to repeat this step all over my face including my nose and chin. So now I'm taking this Urban Decay in the shade Plague and I'm just putting that on my lips. It is a really pretty purple shade. I've only worn it twice but this look definitely called for a purple lip in my opinion. But you can choose any color. Now I'm taking the liner brush and I'm going to go back in that same pinky red shade. I'm going to put that under my bottom lashes. And then I'm also going to smudge it out with a brush but I had to cut that part out taking mascara and the ColourPop Blue Eyeliner in the shade Prance and putting that in my waterline. That is the finished look everyone. I hope that this was easy enough for you to achieve. I hope that I was able to tell you how to achieve it a lot easier than I did. And if you like it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Bye!